Today, humanity is at the brink with this story. The RTX 4090 is getting something new. Huge Ryzen 7000 price cuts. And RX 7000 is set to crush NVIDIA's 4080. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, I typically don't do weird stories like this, but this one was so odd that I had to discuss it. Plus, I can't decide if it's funny or just sad, so maybe you can help. The story originally comes from a McDonald's UK Facebook post. Yes, I'm now delving into fast food. Anyway, the company shared a video about a McDonald's gaming chair that comes with a holder for your fries, a hot box for McCrispy, which is apparently a new take on their chicken sandwich. It also comes with stain resistant leather, two slots for dipping sauce, and okay, yeah, I think this is kind of a sad story. This could be something historians look back on as the beginning of the end of mankind before it was rebuilt by a aliens. I don't know, but it's a giveaway for someone in England, Scotland, or Wales to enter. So this isn't an actual product you can buy, which is better than that KFC console that I'm pretty sure was never released. Ultimately, this is of course just a marketing idea, but there's at least one that someone should actually receive. I swear, ever since you got that certificate, you think you're so much better than everyone else. Well, I am a lord, <laughs> and you can be too with today's sponsor established titles. The project that's based on the historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lairds or lords and ladies in English. And don't worry, it won't break the bank. Because you can buy as little as one square foot of dedicated land on a private estate in Scotland. And what's so cool is that you get this certificate and you can change your name to lord or lady. You can even put it on your credit card. Plus, they partner with One Tree Planet and Trees for the Future to plant a tree with every order. Not only that, but the first 200 of you who visit EstablishedTitles.com slash GamerMeld will be close to my plot, just a few minutes walking distance. To top it off, when you visit my link, you'll get an additional 10% off. So don't wait and help build the GamerMeld kingdom by visiting EstablishedTitles.com slash GamerMeld. It's like the coolest gift. Next up for today, we have yet another new chapter in the saga of the melting 4090 connectors. For those who aren't caught up, NVIDIA's newest GPU is having major issues with the 16-pin power connector. What's wild is that leaked slides show that PCI Express SIG was already aware of the issue. Apparently, it's due to bins near the connector pulling out pins, raising the electrical resistance so more power goes to the other pins, leading to melted connectors. At first, it seemed like these problems were exclusive to the adapter, but but a recent story proved that native cables can melt as well. And this leads us to today's story. In a new post from Reddit, a user shared an email from the Australian retailer TechFast regarding a delay in GPU shipment. In it, they claim that GameWord is replacing the cables that ship with their cards. Basically, something is happening behind the scenes to try and fix the issue. Of course, given native 16-pin cables are also melting, this may not be a great fix, unless it fixes inherent problems with the new PCI Express 5.0 connectors. All in all, NVIDIA has a major issue on their hands. Time will tell if the company has a plan to fix it. Next up, for those who haven't been happy with AMD's Ryzen 7000 pricing, I have some great news. According to a new report by the Chinese publication XP Review, Ryzen 7000 CPUs are way down in price. For example, the 7950X launched at 5499 yuan, and it's now at 3999 yuan, which is a reduction of over 27%. The 7900X started at 4299 yuan, and it's now at 3299. The 7700X was at at 2999 and it's down to 2299 and the 7600x was at 2249 yuan and it's down to 1699 yuan as tom's hardware mentioned the price cut was likely due to the celebration of singles day which is similar to the us's black friday but keep in mind that these were just released a price change like that would have never happened if ryzen 7000 was selling well regardless of the day basically this is a huge hint at what could be coming to the regular price with Intel's 13th gen CPUs challenging AMD in pretty much every area but power draw, the company likely does have a ton of pressure to lower prices. Of course, the AM5 platform boards are really the main issue with consumers, as AMD's 600 series chipset saw a massive price increase over the 500 series parts. And while this isn't a drop in board pricing, it will make the Ryzen 7000 series far more compelling. Let's just hope AMD brings these prices to the US very soon. Thank <laughs> you.
And lastly for today, it looks like AMD's RX 7000 series is set to crush the RTX 4080 in more ways than one. Starting things off with Nvidia's 4080 set to be released in just a few days, we finally have some benchmarks. Specifically, the card was tested in both Geekbench and 3D Mark Time Spy. And let's just say things are not looking good for the 16GB GPU. First up, we have Geekbench scores in OpenCL, CUDA, and Vulkan APIs. And when we compare these scores to last gen's 3080, we see that the new card is around 37% faster in OpenCL, 46% faster in CUDA, and just 19% faster in Vulkan. And of course, while that isn't a bad performance jump, it's nothing like the up to 1.7 times AMD is claiming with their RX 7900 XTX. Not only that, but that 1.7 times is compared to their 6950X T, which is more of a 3090 or 3090 Ti, not the 6800 XT. Of course, the benchmarks don't stop there, as the hardware leaker Megasize GPU shared benchmarks for 3D Mark's Time Spy and Time Spy Extreme. And here, things do a bit better, with around 59% to 62% performance boost over the 3080. But when we actually compare it to the 3090, it's just 38 to 44% faster. So once again, the 7900 XTX is looking set to be quite a bit faster than the 4080. To make matters worse, Megasize GPU looked to be using a third-party card that's likely overclocked. We can't be sure, but if that's the case, it is not good. Because a new story from WCCF Tech is showing that preliminary prices for the 4080 is closer to the 4090's pricing. Ultimately, this is all very bad news for Nvidia, as AMD's RX 7900 XTX looks set to be faster than the 4080, yet quite a bit cheaper, especially if these prices turn out to be the real deal. Of course, Nvidia will likely win in ray tracing, and DLSS 3 is already here, while AMD's FSR 3 won't be coming until next year. Still, this is very bad news for Nvidia. So while that does it for today, are you set to pick up Nvidia's new RTX 4080 or are you aiming for one of AMD's RX 7900 cards? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.